this every day, snow. Snow, like three to six inches every single day, it seems like. It's not, but at least once a week. I parked the truck last night, it was snowing. I had to drive back from up north in the snow. Anyways, we're almost at the shop. We're like two minutes from the shop. Uh, I guess Randy's got the truck running. Everything's ready to go, so I just gotta get in, get my logbook ready. Oh, um, and also, I got Randy's 10%. Randy always a bus on me he tells me he wants 10% because he holds the camera once in a while so he said the first uh, first time I make any money on YouTube he wants 10% so I got his 10% for him All right, let's go give Randy his money hey, I got your money Twelve cents to ten percent. Some days three dollar bills. <laughs> no, no, that's it. You get one ten percent. Ten percent of your first money. Randy started everything up, so that's good. Uh, running warm. We gotta do salt today, but we gotta do we gotta do it a little different. Uh, we gotta go to Longhorn's place out in I think it's Fort Plain or Little Falls or something, and load salt there. They got a salt barn. Uh, so the same type of setup as at Carver's, but it's a little different, smaller. So. Uh, that's where we're gonna start. We're gonna track our way out there. It's about an hour from here. Load up with salt. And then we gotta take that to a county building in uh, Copake, which is down like below Catskill. Uh, really like eastern, eastern New York, almost the border. So, not bad. We'll see how the roads are. A lot of two lane roads, so hopefully they got them cleaned up. But, uh, anyways, let's go get some of the snow out of the back of this see what we can come up with for the day.
Well, this will be the second time I get on the scale. I uh, scaled in the first time and they didn't it read wrong or something. I got off and she told me to load 43 ton. I know 43 ton is going to put me at like 130 or something like that. So, it, it, way too much. So, I had a loop around. Everybody got in front of me. Now, I got to start at the back of the pack. That's all right. It don't matter. It is what it is. The roads are crappy. You can't do anything anyway. You know, the driving's slow. Everything's slow today. You know how it goes. But here we go. Let's get on the scale for the second time. Scale in and see if we can get some salt today at some point. Yeah, 115 something. Like 115.8 or something. That's close. I haul a heavy one normally, so. It's, uh. <laughs> Whoa! Let's not start with this. Let's get off this scale, get our tarp closed. Hopefully by now. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Hopefully by now the roads are a little better. We have a good shot. We got to go out 90 towards Albany, then go south on 87, the true way. And uh, oh, for crying out loud, I gotta go. All right, so I've talked about my first load ever as a truck driver out to Boston. This is the place right here. It's in Canajoharie. It was the old beech nut factory. They used to make baby food, I think gum, a couple of different things, but there's nothing left of it. It's all basically closed up. Now, there used to be a building right in here and you back into those doors. Oh, I got to drive too. I forget about that part. You back in those doors and uh, they'd load you up with cans of baby food. And it was always cool because if one of those cans broke, you'd get the whole cardboard flat of like pears and stuff. And some of it was like older baby food, so it was just pears. It was good, I keep them in the cab. Anyways, that was like, that was my first load ever, was out of that place, baby food. So, just reminiscing, you know, the old days, back 16 years ago or whatever. Ooh -wee. <laughs> we're getting old, we're getting old. All right, now we're getting on the true way. We're gonna head east, right to Albany which is about an hour from here, 45 minutes or an hour from here. So let's do it. Let's get back to work. Back to work! the two lane now so before we do that we got to take this opportunity you don't want to mess around on a two lane road because you usually got nowhere to pull over so you gotta do what you got to do when you got to do it all right back to work let's finish this trip up and then see what we got to do next <sighs>
local delivery. And that's what we're doing, delivering locally. So I don't see the problem. I've gone over two bridges so far, no issues. Let's keep rolling. Three bridges. We're doing all right. Oh, we made it. I think. I, oh, yeah, we made it. There's all sorts of trucks here. I won't take that way again. I'll go uh, right up 22. We tried to cut off this side road to cut some time out, but uh, it was too windy. we made it now we just got to dump this salt off we gotta wait for Joe Randy and I think somebody else is over there maybe Ed or something um, we're gonna get this dumped off and then we're gonna have to call the boss and find out what we got to do next a lot of these guys are going back to get another one for down here so we'll have to see but uh let's dump this and I'll keep you posted well while we're waiting here for everybody to dump um, I wanted to mention something uh, a friend of mine on Instagram, uh, Travis, he goes by CT Trucking on Instagram, uh, if you look him up. Apparently his girlfriend makes shirts. Uh, it's like a hobby of hers. So I guess they were sitting around one night and uh, they came up with a, with a shirt. I was going to wear it in the video, but it's so cold and everything out that I always got a hoodie on or a jacket or something. So I just brought it with you to to show you but I thought it was pretty cool they made I don't I hope you could see it but uh I don't know can you see it anyway I thought that was really cool so I wanted to show it to you guys uh, and I thought that was really nice that that they did that so that's cool thanks guys I appreciate it now I broke my backpack also while we're here, I wanted to mention, uh, I wanted to thank everybody. We just topped 1,500 subscribers. It went up like 750 subscribers over the weekend and then like last Friday and late Thursday. Um, so I really appreciate that, guys. All you guys hitting the subscribe button and the like button and the comments have all been great. So thanks a lot for that. Uh, it really pushes the channel out and only makes it better for us so we could do better things and, and so forth. So thank you very much. I appreciate that. Uh, Travis, I'm not sure of your girlfriend's name, but thank you, uh, Travis, and, and her for the shirt. That's really nice. Oh, and they sent me a sticker, too, that I'm going to put on the back of my, my pickup once the weather gets better. So, thanks, guys. All right, let's dump this. Back to work! We're dumped here in Copake. Now we gotta go back to the same place as we loaded this the first time. Bring one down, basically same area, but to a county garage down here in Hudson. So, let's get in and move. It's gonna be a day now. This ain't an easy, this ain't a, you know, it's a pretty short, long to go out there and load the, anyways, I'm just saying, we gotta get moving. 
All right, we're back. We got to load up salt, bring it down to Hudson. Let's scale in, load, scale out, and go. Before we go, the loader operator, his uh, his kid or kids, I can't remember what he said, watches, uh, likes trucks and loaders and stuff. So we figured we'd give him a chance to say hi to him uh, while we're here. So if he watches the video later on, he can tell. So I'll give the camera over to them. Hi, it's on. You just got to say what you want to say. Hi, Channing. We're thinking about you as we're loading salt today. Love you, buddy. All right, while we're getting the tarp closed up here uh, in their parking lot, I just, that was really cool um, for them to say something to their kids like that. So, I don't know, that's what this is all about, this stuff. It's not just about trucking and loaders and driving up and down the road and goofing off, but um, if it makes them kids smile, that's that actually means a lot to me as far as this whole YouTube thing goes. So we're done here, the tarp's almost closed, paperwork is ready, we're loaded, we got a nice load on, you saw the numbers. Um, we're out of here, we're gonna go down to Hudson. In an effort to not have this be a three hour video, I'm just gonna skip the driving down there because it's the same thing as we just did, basically back and forth. So I'll see you when we get down there. here in Hudson uh, so this is gonna be it guys got more of the same tomorrow type of same type of stuff out of Longhorn um, I appreciate you watching we're gonna dump this get on back to the shop fuel do all that 
Uh, but thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't yet, make sure you do that. Um, and also, I wanted to mention, um, I talked to Randy. I had a couple people ask me if I would do a live uh, broadcast. I don't know how to do it. I've never done it before. But um, I talked to Randy. If, if I got to 5,000 subscribers, he agreed to do it a live broadcast with me. So we'll set up a table or something get a pizza and some beers and we'll uh, do something live for you guys so you guys can ask all the questions you want and we'll try to answer them the best we can. So, uh, again, I appreciate watching the subscriptions and everything. We're going to dump this here in Hudson. We're going to head back north and that's going to be it for today. So we'll see you in the next one. Thanks. with these jokes. I deal with these jokes all day. <laughs>